Surprising Facts About Roger Waters 1. Childhood Friendships Roger Waters, the co-founder and former bassist-slash-vocalist of Pink Floyd, developed close friendships early in his life that would later influence his music. Waters attended the same primary school as Sid Barrett, another founding member of Pink Floyd. Their friendship and shared love for music played a significant role in the formation of the band. 2. Academic Background Before his music career took off, Waters pursued academic studies. He enrolled in architecture at the Regent Street Polytechnic, now the University of Westminster, in London. It was during his time there that he met and formed a band with fellow students, including Sid Barrett, ultimately leading to the creation of Pink Floyd. 3. Conceptual Vision Roger Waters is known for his conceptual approach to music and elaborate stage productions. He played a pivotal role in shaping Pink Floyd's iconic albums, such as The Dark Side of the Moon, Wish You Were Here, and The Wall. Waters' vision extended beyond the music itself, incorporating visual elements, storytelling, and thought-provoking themes into the band's work. 4. Political Activism Waters has been an outspoken political activist throughout his career, using his platform to address social and political issues. He has been particularly vocal about his criticism of war, corporate greed, and human rights abuses. Waters' activism is often reflected in his music, with songs like Another Brick in the Wall and Us and Them addressing themes of societal oppression and injustice. 5. Personal Tragedy Waters experienced personal tragedy during his childhood, which profoundly influenced his songwriting. His father, Eric Fletcher Waters, was killed in World War II when Roger was just a few months old. The absence of his father and the impact of war became recurring themes in his music, most notably in the concept album The Wall. 6. Legal Disputes Waters engaged in legal battles with his former Pink Floyd bandmates after leaving the group in 1985. The disputes primarily revolved around the use of the Pink Floyd name and ownership of the band's assets. The conflicts were eventually settled, with Waters relinquishing his rights to the Pink Floyd name, but he continued to perform the band's music as part of his solo career. 7. Live Aid Performance In 1985, Waters participated in the historic Live Aid concert, performing with Pink Floyd. However, during the performance of Money, Waters became frustrated with technical difficulties and abruptly stopped playing. This incident marked a significant moment in the band's history and contributed to the tensions that ultimately led to Waters' departure from Pink Floyd. 8. Solo Career and Success After leaving Pink Floyd, Waters pursued a successful solo career, releasing albums that showcased his distinctive sound and lyrical style. His solo efforts, including the pros and cons of hitchhiking and Amused to Death, received critical acclaim and maintained his status as a revered musician and songwriter. 9. The Wall Concerts Waters staged a series of highly ambitious and visually stunning concerts featuring performances of Pink Floyd's album The Wall in its entirety. These concerts, which began in 2010, featured a massive wall constructed on stage, symbolizing the emotional barriers between individuals and society. The shows were notable for their grand scale and immersive theatrical experience. 10. Activism for Palestine in recent years, Waters has been actively involved in advocating for Palestinian rights and criticizing the Israeli government's policies towards Palestine. He has supported the boycott, divestment, and sanctions BDS, movement and has been vocal about his opposition to the Israeli occupation. Waters' activism in this regard has generated both praise and controversy.